Now we're going to add a little text object underneath one of the sides of this outer UI. So in the outer UI object, let's right click and add 3D text. And hopefully that'll just fit right in there. Might be a little big, I don't know. <laughs> so we'll select that. And let's see if we can just scale this down directly. We want it to be fairly small. I think it would fit nicely in this little pocket here. And I'll move it in front of this just so the alpha doesn't clip out. And we don't need any depth to this just because it's a UI element. So in depth up here, we'll change this to zero. See, zero is too small. <laughs> Point 0.1 looks like that does the job. We have maybe a tiny edge on that, but that's totally fine. And we need to, under editable, make sure that's checked. And natively, you can't just edit text, so we need to add a few bits of functionality. So in Project, Properties, under Capabilities, we'll add Touch Gestures and Native UI Control. And in order to make this text actually editable in the filter, we need to add a script. And Spark Air supplies this default script that we can use. So I'll copy this. And then in the asset panel, I'll make a new script. Then click Edit to open up your text editor. I like using Atom. And the default script comes with a lot of comments and some basic functionality. But I believe the supplied script covers all of that. So make sure to save that once you paste that in. And I believe we want to make sure this name here matches our text object. So we have 3D text 0. So we just need to change 2D to a 3D. And I believe that's the only bit we need to change. So make sure to save that again. And there's a warning there, but I think we're fine still. So now you can see it says tap to edit there. That's because in the script, the default text is tap to edit. And it doesn't do anything in the preview window. So I'll test this on Instagram. Well, that didn't work, but I think I know why. If we go back into our properties and look under capabilities, in native UI control, we need to enable editable text. And then in touch gestures, we need to turn on tap gesture. We added these earlier, but we didn't actually toggle on any of the functionality within them. And now you see down here it says, you're using a capability that is not supported by your selected experience. And that is because Instagram does not support editable text. So in experiences, we need to turn off Instagram. And you can see there's a little warning label here. I can remove these warnings, and I'll try this again. And as you can see, it now works. Unfortunately, this is only for Facebook, but if you do need to add some editable text, this is the way to do it.